So today we're going to be talking about photoluminescent dots. Um, in layman's terms, that's glow-in-the-dark dots. Um, I got asked about these ones specifically that I made for a guitar I'm working on right now. Um, I got asked specifically about those because they kind of look almost like they're recon stone. But as you'll see when I turn out the light in just a second, uh, they actually do glow in the dark. There are companies that make the material in quarter inch and three thirty second for side dots. Um, they're generally fairly pricey. I mean, side dots for one neck I've seen up to about twenty five bucks. Whereas uh, on eBay, I got these ten little vials of various colors uh, for pretty cheap. I think it was ten dollars shipped from China to the U.S. for all ten colors. And I mean, I could get a dozen guitars side dots out of each of these uh, colors here. I will say the one thing about these is not all of the colors really glow as well um, as the other ones. Pretty much any time that you have blues, greens, yellows, and to some extent oranges, uh, things glow pretty well. Uh, the reds, the pinks, the purples, uh, those uh, aren't quite as good. Obviously you can mix colors, uh, for instance this is a mixture of the blue and the green to give me a sort of teal color. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is these two white colors, if you uh, couldn't see very well, one is actually white that glows green, which is what these side dots are, and one is actually white that glows blue. So you don't, you're not stuck to the glow color matching the dot color. So that, for instance this customer wanted white side dots. Um, but he wanted them to glow in the dark, so I used the green that uh, only glows in the dark green. It's just white normally. Um, here I wanted the color to affect the undarkened view. One of the real keys to getting some really nice looking dots is to have really clean holes. So your edges are of utmost importance in the holes. Um, that's why we're going to be using some really nice drill bits. So if you look closely at the bit that's in here, um, it actually has a pilot point and a section that scores the edges. So it creates a really, really clean hole. And that's really what's going to make your dots nice here. Because if you have any chip out, the dust that we're going to put in there, um, it fills up those, uh, those chips as well so you won't have a perfect circle. So the keys are good drill bits correct speed on your press and move slowly with the actual drilling process. And uh, one thing to keep in mind, we're going to approach the small holes and the large holes a little differently from one another. So I'm going to be doing a quarter inch hole here in the recon stone style look and I'm also going to be doing a 332nd inch hole in just a solid color uh, to show you how you would do side dots. So a lot of the process for the two dots is going to be really, really similar. Um, <clears throat> the only real difference is when you get down to the 332nd inch, like the really small dots, um, to make them shine really well, I'll actually take some white tinted lacquer and I'll paint the inside of this hole before filling it for the small dots. It gives it a reflective surface and kind of channels all the light back out. Um, it's not really necessary with the larger dots I found, so I don't bother doing it with those. Um, so it's a really simple process. All we're going to be doing is we're going to open up this stuff, and it's actually sold as glow-in-the-dark nail polish additive. Um, but really you can suspend the glow-in-the-dark particles in any sort of matrix. Here we're going to be using super glue. Um, but basically I'll just fill these holes with the material. And I will use my stick to also try and pack it in there as well as get rid of some of the excess. And I'll just go ahead and keep that for future use. All right. The one thing we're going to do differently to the big dot that we did not do to the small dot is we're going to give that dot that sort of recon stone look that we saw on my teal dots on that fretboard. In all honesty, this is really, really simple. Um, I just take a toothpick and I just kind of do a random design 
I'll just kind of start on the edge and just kind of whoop, go through it a little tiny bit, make little channels, just like that. Let's uh, zoom in there so you can see. So you see how I just kind of dug some little channels in there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take another powder color. In this case, I'm taking some ebony dust. Um, you could do another color of glow in the dark. You could do rosewood dust. You could do any sort of thing, just as long as it sets a contrast. And I'm just going to kind of drop it onto there and fill those channels that I made. Once again, I'm going to use my stick to kind of drag things across and level everything out. And that's the start of our little recon stone look. So we are ready to solidify these dots. One thing that I found to be very important is you can't just throw super glue onto the dot. Um, what happens is the dots, the material, this glow in the dark material, soaks up the super glue a bit and it actually becomes smaller. So it'll actually shrink a bit. And if you just drop it on there, it'll actually make imprints and you'll get pockets and hollow spots. And when you sand out, if you sand into one of those hollow spots, it'll just look like a, a black circle or spot. It won't be attractive. So what I try and do is I just go to the edge of the wood near it and just get super glue and it just kind of flows into the pocket where the dot is. As I said though, this stuff will shrink. So we're gonna actually let that dry we're going to come back, we're going to sand it flush. Uh, you'll see that there's uh, some shrink down that's happened. So we'll go, we'll fill in a little bit more of the powder. Uh, this time I'm going to use this little stick here with some tape attached to it to do my scraping across. That tape just brings up the, it just brings up the surface of the scraper a little bit so that you have a little raised area so that when it shrinks back for the second time, it's just kind of settling to normal. Just gonna take some 220 grit and quickly give it a sand. As you'll see, it looks like there's a bunch of maple dust in the hole. Because, like I said, it shrunk back down. So we're gonna take more of our pink material. This also helps with the creation of that recon stone look, because if you got a little heavy handed with where you put the black color earlier, this helps to tame some of it a little bit. And sometimes I'll leave just like a, a little bit extra on there if I want. Once again, we're just going near it. We're not putting it onto the dot itself. And there you have it. Recon stone style swirled dots and just standard side dots.